All right, so we have another fun video for you today. Today, the main thing we're gonna be doing is showing you how I use and or style over 60 baskets in my home. Now what's crazy is over 54 of those baskets are thrifted baskets. So I hope that it gives you some ideas and some inspiration on what you can do with thrifted baskets. So what I'm gonna do is just take you around my house room for room and I'm gonna show you how I use all of these baskets. So just know that the basket is thrifted unless I tell you otherwise because there is only six baskets in my whole collection that are not thrifted and those came in a bundle of four I got two two packs one time at Walmart because they were on such a deep clearance. I got them cheaper there at that Walmart clearance that I could have ever got at a thrift store. You might as well say they're thrifted, but they were actually clearance. So I have six baskets total that are not thrifted and I will tell you which baskets those are, but I will not tell you that every basket we see is thrifted. Just know that they are unless I note it otherwise because that would get that would be annoying okay so we'll start off in my master bedroom and i have five baskets total in here that i mostly use as decor but a couple of them i kind of use as storage i have a basket hanging here on this peg rack as well as this purse looking basket and i counted this one because it looks just like a basket to me so we're calling it in on one of the five so i have these two hanging here and i do actually use this one sometimes i will pull this off and use it when i'm taking if i have like a really small load of laundry or something from our bathroom to the laundry room so yeah there's two right there and then I have a basket over here kind of in the corner. And what I keep in that basket is like some seasonal blankets. I have them kind of just rolled up and tucked down in there. So this serves as a storage purpose. And I just keep the little decorative pillows there on top. Just so you can't really see like all the Christmas and fall blankets that I have folded up and in there. And then over here on the other side, I have this very large picnic basket. And I actually had this in my living room so it is full of like decorative dishes and the reason that it's full of dishes is because again it was in my living room and then I moved it in here and I just have not transferred these to something else but I do use this basket here for storage I use another one here for storage on my hope chest right underneath our TV this one's really big and what I keep in here is seasonal like t-shirts and clothes, like Christmas t-shirts, Christmas pajamas, Christmas socks, different things like that. I keep those in there. Um, you know, with, you know, like fall or anything like that seasonal, it, that way it doesn't take up so much space in my closet. They're out of the way when they're not in season and perfect, perfect storage option there. And I just keep, a, again, a couple pillows tucked in just to kind of cover them up so you can't see them. So yeah, that's just kind of the basket options here in my bedroom that I use and like I said some of them are for storage and some of them are just for decorative purposes so here in our hallway I have I believe five baskets here as well I think so right up here on top of this wardrobe I just have a basket there that is mostly just for decor and this one also here hanging off of the knobs is also just for decor. I really like these little ones that hang off of stuff. So I just hung that one there just to kind of give it a nice touch. Plus the handle is broke on one of those and it helps hide that. <laughs> and then as you turn around, I have three more baskets over here. I have another like basket looking purse. What do you call these? Like, I don't know. I always call them like a beach bag, a woven purse, something like that, but they look like a basket to me. So that's just what I always call them, like a basket bag or something. I'm sure they have a, a more professional name, but then I have another one of those little baskets right here that you can just pull off of the peg rail. And the kids actually use this a lot. They'll pull this off and pick up some of their toys and then carry them where they go when they are over. So that's a very helpful piece as well as this one. I thrifted this a long time ago, y'all at Goodwill. This has been, this has been around for a while with the pineapples on it. And what I keep in there is extra homeschooling books. So that works as a storage little box for us right there. So yeah, five little baskets here just in the hallway. And then that one up there. So now we're going to go into our homeschool room slash office area. So now we are in our homeschool slash office area. And in here, there is eight baskets total. There is two that are not thrifted. And I'll point those out in a minute. 
but we have a basket up here on top of my husband's NASCAR cabinet just kind of more like a decorative piece there and then if you sling around here a little ways you can see that I have a basket down here and I don't know I'm, I'm think I'm gonna keep blankets or something in there but right now I just have a curtain panel rolled up like a lace curtain panel rolled up and in, in there I don't know just to give it a little added touch and then I have the basket over here with the books in it and then if you go up I have a basket here hanging on the wall now this one is not thrifted this is from Hobby Lobby and this little basket piece up here holds like chalk and erasers and things like that so that is a very useful little basket here in our office area then the other three are in this closet so I have one here this is like an extra pantry in my house <laughs> I kind of did this over the last summer now here is one of those um, baskets that is not thrifted with the leather handle I actually got this is a set this is one of four the other ones are in the bathroom but this was this is not excuse me this is one of the ones that is not thrifted but then I have one up there that is thrifted it's holding some extra tall candles that will not fit in my drawer so yeah that is our homeschool slash office area where I use and keep a lot of these baskets and some of them in the pantry are being used you know for good storage right, now this is our guest bathroom or my teenage daughter's bathroom I should say and there are 10 baskets in here three of which are not thrifted so I'll get to the ones that are not thrifted and show y'all which ones those are in just a minute but we're gonna start with this little basket here that I painted and hung on the uh, little panel door here that I added as a layer and I just keep little kitchen napkins in them as like little hand towels then down here we keep this set of baskets by the toilet full of just you know necessary things and I love this I thrifted this golly before I ever started my channel I've had this a long time and it works perfectly for that and then I'm just gonna pull back the little curtain here that we have because I have a couple of baskets under here and I know you probably can't see it good because it's pretty dark under there and I'm not getting the light out just to brighten this up for y'all but I use this thrifted basket as dirty clothes and then I use this basket over here which this is not thrifted but I use this to hold extra toilet paper because it's narrow and it fits good in here so those are both useful pieces and I'm sure you could find one like this at the thrift store I've just had it I think from Ross a very very long time and I love it right, so moving up to some of the shelving is I have this little hanging basket here that I again keep little napkins in for drying your hands off and then I keep a basket here with just extra things in it for guests or anybody that comes over a little extra razors or things like that and then going up you're gonna see some more baskets this is another one of those with the little leather handle that is not thrifted and there's another one just like this on the other side but then I have some more baskets there at the top and these just hold extra supplies like extra toothbrushes extra toothpaste extra soap heating pads different things like that so if you just move over really slow you'll see that I have some more open shelving here on the other side and there's that other one that I was speaking of right there and then another one just right above I just love how the baskets look this used to have doors on it and I took the doors off because I wanted it to have all open shelving so yeah that's where all of those baskets are in the guest bathroom so you don't it really it sounds like a lot but then once somebody kind of shows you where all their baskets are like I am and how they're using them it's really not that much all right so now we are moving into the living room where I have 15 different types of baskets placed in here and only one of them is retail so 14 baskets are thrifted and only one is from a retail store so let's just start here on the open shelving we have one here and this is just kind of how I'm using it have a little frame tucked in there I think it's really sweet and then right above it is one of those that's kind of flat almost looks like a tray or a big plate I'm not really sure and I just use it for layering and across I have this basket here y'all and this is probably one of my most favorite baskets it is so primitive let me turn the brightness up just a little bit it is so primitive and so pretty I absolutely love this I got this one at Goodwill 
I don't know, for two or three bucks, and I just love it. I, I don't know. It's just one of my favorite baskets, I think, just because it's so unique and different that I just adore it. Right here, we have three different types of baskets going on. I just love to stack them all up. Now, the one on the very bottom, this one down here, I've had that one, and that is the only one in here that is from a retail store. So what I use that for is pillow inserts. I just have them kind of shoved down in there. And if I need a pillow insert, like to put a cover or something on, I know that that's where those are. For years, this was Kelsey's Dirty Clothes Hamper. And when she moved out, she didn't want it. So I just took it and put my pillow inserts in there. And I love how it kind of helps me stack everything up. This one holds, what does this hold? Okay, so this one holds like command strips, plate hangers, just little things like that that I might need for around the house, you know, to do with my decor or anything like that. That's what's in that one. And then this one here on the top is kind of holding my doily collection that is not in place. Or like extra little napkins that I like that I get at the thrift store. So anyway, those are in there for now. However, I do have a project coming up for where I want to display those. So stay tuned for that. But this is kind of how this stack of baskets looks right here. Then a less glamorous view <laughs> is this piece of pineapple basket that I took out of the one in the hall. And I just use it here to set the speaker in to kind of help corral the cords back there. So they're not just all over the place. And so if I need to pick this up and move it to vacuum, it's easier to just slide this basket out than it is to pick up the speaker and pick up the cords and all the things. So I just kind of keep it corralled in that and that works for me. Moving kind of up and over is I have another one of those, it looks like a tray basket kind of here on top of this hutch, just to give another little layer, a little bit of height there. So I really like that. And then moving around the room, we'll go over here to my mantle. So this little side table just has a little decorative basket down there, as well as this green picnic basket. It's not holding anything right now because I just got this around Christmas time and I really haven't found what I wanted to store in there. So it's just sitting empty, but I love how it looks and I keep it out and I plan on keeping it out all year long, even though it has that evergreen Christmassy looking color. I love it, so it's gonna stay out. All right, moving up here to the mantle, I have another basket that is, it's like a flat piece. I use it for layering. I really like how that looks. So anytime you see one of these flat looking baskets, think about how you could layer with it. They're so pretty, like leaned up on a shelf like that. So that's what I use a lot of mine for. Coming off that mantle here underneath my TV, I have this big, beautiful thrifted basket that I keep full of like my decorative scarves and things like that that I like to hang off the back of chairs, hang out of baskets and different things like that. I have different colors and seasonal ones, just all kind of stuff down there in the bottom. And again, the pillows on top kind of help hide what's in there and just give another little decorative touch to the basket. So that's where we were. And then we just come right over here to my buffet cabinet. Very big picnic basket up here. Um, you'll notice that I have one of my thrifted frames still sitting empty right there because I don't have a picture to put in it, but I think that's where I want it to go. But now this picnic basket here holds material. So this holds a lot of material that I use for different projects, sewing, different things like that. I just have them folded and placed in there and it keeps all of my material neat and tidy. And then kind of tucked in behind that, I just have a couple of baskets here hanging on the wall. I've had these here forever and I probably need to do something different over here, but I still kind of like this for now. So I just leave those baskets there hanging on the wall. And then my picnic basket, of course, that's holding a lot of material for me. It's a very useful piece. So into the kitchen, just off of this little peg rail, I have this beautiful basket here that it hangs off one of these little peg rails and I have some little artificial tulips in there. And then over here, I have another picnic basket. Can you tell I have a little bit of a picnic basket obsession? Love this. This is holding a lot of extra decorative dishes as well for me. And then going around the kitchen here on top of, not the refrigerator, but on top of my pantry, I'm gonna try to do this without a stool, but I have three 
baskets up there. I hope you can see those. I have three different types of baskets up there and they are all just empty. Those are more just for decoration. I just really like how they, I don't know, they kind of help fill in that space up there. So then coming down over here by my back door, I have another just little hanging basket that I have a lot of little vintage kitchen tools in just because I like how they look. So I just have that there. And plus the kids, they think it's funny to get this stuff out and act like they're cooking. So when they're here, they can play with it. They're not hurting anything. And then when they're not here, it's decoration and it just looks nice. Up here, I keep this black basket filled with my coffee pods. So I can just pull that down, get my pot out, and then I put it back up there. So then it just, you know, looks like a decoration piece, but it is actually holding things and it's a useful piece for me. Over here on this little side wall, I, I don't know if this is a paper plate holder or what this exactly is, but I really like it and I just have it hanging on the wall. I just love the contrasting color up against the white. So got that there. And in the windowsill, I have this little baby one it is just for decoration purposes right now it's all i have in it is just some little dried florals but i love the little touch of brown that it gives because i do have you know a few other pieces in this windowsill that have the brown so that kind of helps break up the two white little pieces here so i love the little bitty baskets i think they are so cute okay and the only other basket i think that i have in my kitchen is this little basket right here and it's just a little decorative piece it's just holding this little spice looking frame and a piece of greenery and that's really it so i don't do much with that piece there okay so we'll start here just on my little deep freeze oh did i mention i have i think i have seven baskets out here that i use on a daily basis and only one of them is not thrifted and i'll show that one it's it's just another one of those with the leather strap so Anyway, I use this basket and it is empty because it sits here on my deep freezer because sometimes I come out here and get like three or four days worth of meat or bacon, different things like that that I need and want to carry in the house. And what I do is I just take, set this off and I put all that in here and then I can just carry it all in the house at one time, empty it and then bring the basket and just put the basket out here. Um, I think it just looks nice there empty by itself and it's a useful piece when I need it to be. Okay, a little less glamorous shots right here. This basket is used to gather eggs. As you can see, it is overflowing. So I could probably use that one on my freezer, honestly. But this is what we use to take and gather eggs. And then there's my cat. And then I wanted to show you, I have one over here that is turned on its side because what I use it for is to tuck some boots in there. And then I use it to sit some boots on top of as well. What is it, Popper? Goodness. So over here, here's one of those same baskets with the leather strap. Again, it came as um, a two pack and I bought two of the two packs. So I have four of these all together. And this is where the other one ended up and it's just holding some extra jars for me. Use this one here just to kind of corral my laundry supplies. And it's got the little buffalo check, which I don't do a lot of this in my house anymore, but I thought it'd be fun to put it out here with my laundry stuff. Up here, I have two baskets that I use to store my pet supplies. So one of them has just extra collars and different things like that that the animals might need in both of those baskets. And I just bought those little training pads yesterday because I keep those underneath my litter box and I just need to throw them up there in that basket because I couldn't reach it yesterday. I have to get my stool. Okay, I think I told y'all that I had seven baskets out here but I missed this one. This one actually holds my extra Epsom salt that I get from Walmart and it was kind of tucked in here back behind some laundry and I didn't see it. So I do have eight baskets out here, all of them thrifted except for one. Hey, I know that so many of you might be back to see who won the giveaway from last Friday. And if you're curious to know what that's all about, well, you can go check out last Friday's video. However, I have already drew the names of the winners and I have them available. I'm gonna have you reach out to me on Instagram because I don't want y'all putting your personal email down in the comment section or us trying to arrange how I'm gonna get you your prize through YouTube comments and all of that. It's just not safe. So I will put my Instagram handle here on the screen. It is Julie underscore thrilled thrifter. Come find me over on Instagram and send me a message if this is you that I'm about to announce. And we will work out all of the details there through Instagram Messenger. That way you're not putting your information out for the whole world to see and neither am I. So let's just keep it safe like that. So here's the winners from that giveaway. 
and hopefully I pronounced them right, but we have, and I'll put it on the screen here, Janice Affirmage, Barbara Gillespie, Kern D, and this is just what your YouTube channel name is. I don't know if this is your actual names or not, but this is what your YouTube channel name is. This is what the comment pick, picker chose, and so I guess that's your YouTube channel name. I'm not really sure. But then I have Patricia Romaine Trick. And every one of these people said that they would like to be entered into the giveaway. Well, if one of these names belongs to you, message me over on Instagram because I do have a way to make sure that I am actually, you know, in contact with the right person. So we'll just work out all the details over there. So thank you to everyone that participated in that. Thank you for coming along and seeing how I use all of my thrifted baskets in and throughout my home. We hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and I'll see you really soon with a brand new video.